The Cleveland Cavaliers went back on the road as they battled the Knicks at Madison Square Garden. In the end, the road struggles would continue as Cleveland, who never led in this one, fell to the Knicks 92 to 81. Here's the great, the not so great, and the bottom line of the Cavs' loss to the Knicks. The great, absolutely nothing. Cleveland played terrible tonight. But maybe Mobley can get some recognition for recording another double double with 11 points, 10 rebounds, and four blocks. That's it. The not so great turnovers. Cleveland had 19 turnovers. Six of those 19 turnovers came in the fourth. They were just downright sloppy. The first and fourth quarter, Cleveland was terrible in the beginning and end of the game. They scored only 16 points and shot only 26% in the first quarter. Fortunately, the Knicks were not much better, so they trailed only by seven after one. In the fourth, the Cavs had six turnovers and scored only 18 points on 29% shooting. They were awful in the beginning, awful in the start. They were just awful. Shooting! The Cavs could not make shots. They were way off. They finished the game shooting 35% from the field, including 25% from beat. And ultimately, they finished with a season low. 81 points. The big backcourt of Mitchell and Garland, they did combine for 40 points, but they were not very economical. They were a combined 13 for 41 from the field. So again, struggles, struggles, struggles for the Cavaliers. The bottom line, the bottom line is this. This was a bad performance by the Cavs, maybe their worst performance of the season. They could not make shots, they could not control the ball, and they just could not make enough plays. This game was there for them to win because the Knicks were not very good in this one, but the Cavs were bad. Look, young teams have to learn how to win consistently on the road. And at 5-8 and eight on the road, the Cavs are still learning big time at home, but not so good, very average, actually below average on the road. Bottom line, they got to get better on the road. The Cavs get back at it on Tuesday night when LeBron and the Lakers come to the land.